All right, if you're using Google Sheets and you have a table of data, you keep adding rows to the bottom of it, right? So in this example, uh, we have the order date, a ship mode, kind of what we're shipping in the quantity. Well, you get a new order, let's say it's September 6th, you're going to write it in down at the bottom, right? And it will be September 6th, so it will be in date order, but you might want this list sorted by something else. So in this case, I've already applied a sort to this uh, based on column B. But when you enter a new row, if it's a ship mode of first class or second class, it's in the wrong order. All right, so we're going to go over two different solutions for how to make a list automatically sort itself. So if you put in a new entry, it will get moved to where it belongs without you having to resort the table every time. All right, so we'll just show, we'll, we'll act like it's tomorrow. Today's September 6th, but we'll put in 9-7-2024, and we will make this second class. So it shouldn't stay at the bottom. And we'll do that, and then we'll just uh, copy these two pieces of data to finish it off. So you have a new row of data, right? You got a new order, but you want this to be, it would be in row probably 14, in everything in 14 shift down one. So the first way to do this is just with a simple function called sort. Okay, so uh, I will create a new worksheet here. Let's just say you want a totally fresh view of this sorted table. I'm going to copy over the header. So when you're using the sort function, uh, you need to put the header in manually. Otherwise, it will just treat it like another row and sort it according to criteria you don't want. So we put the header in there. And now we're going to enter just one formula in one place, and it's going to write out this entire uh, new table of data, and it's going to be sorted the way you want it. So we're going to say equals, we'll say, we'll say sort. And first it wants the range to be sorted. So since we created this on a new worksheet, we're going to, we'll keep this formula open, right? So the cursor is still in there, it's flashing. You have this little um, bracket facing upwards and that's Google Sheets saying, I'm ready for you to tell me the range. So this function is waiting for us. While it's in that state, we will go down to source data and we're going to select the entire table. Notice that we're not going to select the header row because we had to manually enter that. But then the second little trick we're going to do is we're going to take off the ending row number. So that is a little trick to make Google Sheets go all the way down to the bottom of the worksheet. So when you add new rows, it'll pick them up. So that's important to do. And now it wants to know what column to sort this on. So here, instead of, it's going to naturally sort by A because you're putting them in every day in chronological order, but you want to sort it by ship method and that's in the second column. So sort column is going to be two. And then is ascending, we'll say true. That's just what order do you want it in, ascending or descending. We'll say that's enough. And when I hit enter, this is going to bring me back to the other worksheet because that's where this formula actually resides. So we'll hit enter. And this is a beautiful thing, right? This list is shorted, shorted, shorted. This list is sorted by ship mode. So I will add another line onto the end of it to show you uh, how this works. And we will make it Let's make it one that's first class. So we'll put it at the bottom, like we just got this order. But we know we want it to be up here. All right, so this function doesn't change the table, the original source table as it is. But if we go on to the other worksheet, so look at this, this goes down to row 29. We'll come down to this output. This also goes down to row 29, but it's sorted in order. So what we just put in is right here. So all of this output is coming only from cell A2. All right, so if I go into B2, 
it says first class, but if I hit delete, nothing happens because that's really being written from A2. So you have this new dynamic list. It's always going to be accurate. It's always going to be up to date. So this can be a great solution for you. So the sort function is custom built for this. Where this might not be a great solution is if you don't want to have two lists. All right, so the second method to keep a list automatically sorted with new entries is, let's go back to the source data tab. We're gonna burn a bridge here. We're just gonna delete sheet one. Remember, we're moving on. We'll say, okay. And for this solution, we're going to use an add-on called stay sorted. So if we come over to the right-hand side, uh, I have mine extended right now, but if you don't have yours, uh, you have to make sure you can see your side panel. So this little arrow, it's hidden. You can show it. And if you don't have it already, so I have it in the list right here, it's called Stay Sorted. You could click on the plus button. That'll bring you to the marketplace and search for Stay Sorted. All right, and you install it right there. It'll ask for very minimal permissions. It can't see all of your files. It does have to see the spreadsheet that it's installed in. The other permission that it asks for is that it needs to be able to resort whenever there's an edit. So I'll show you what that means right now. If we come over and we start the Stay Sorted add-on, it needs a couple of things in order to work, kind of the same things that the sort function asks for. And the first thing is, what range are you sorting? So let's select A1 in this case. So we are selecting the header all the way down to the bottom of D. So we will click there. We'll leave it active that we have a header. So we can go ahead and select the header. You just have to tell it you selected that. But we want it to sort by column B. So that's the magic, right? No matter what we put in, sort it by column B. We'll leave it at ascending. And then the sort timing, do you want it to wait until you type out the entire row? Or do you want it to sort right when you type the row that it's looking at to sort? Okay, so in this case, we're going to say, let's wait until I get to the rightmost column. So we will save this sort. And already it reorganized things to uh, be sorted by ship mode. And so let's test this. Let's go to the bottom. Let's say, let's say today's September 8th, 2024. This is going to be a second class shipment. It's not going to sort yet because I'm not done yet. And let's say office supplies art and two all right so it's gone so the stay sorted add-on sorted that automatically as soon as i got through the row and now it's ready for the next one so if you want to learn more about the stay sorted add-on i have a link in the description and there's a link on your screen right now thanks for watching